good morning. We're gonna have another really nice day today. It's awesome. So it's supposed to be storms tomorrow. We'll see how that comes. But Dad's been working on our uh, containment dike here and getting our tank ready to go in. So the guys came yesterday from the tank manufacturer, uh, repaired the tank, had a hole there. We got that fixed. They fixed the gouges and stuff on the other side there. There was a little spot right here that wasn't a hole, but it looked like it was a bubble or something, so they fixed that. Um, <clears throat> we are going to put, so this has a two inch um, port right here for uh, drain or withdrawal. We want three inch. So we bought this. This is a three inch suction tube with a siphon tube in it or whatever. So this is going to go inside the tank, um, but we need to drill a hole for it. And so that's what we marked there. It's going to go that way. Um, anyway, dad's getting a hole saw and he's gonna, gonna cut a hole and we're going to figure out how to set this in there. We kind of marked out where it's going to go. It's going to go tight into this corner. We've got some rubber matting there that we thought we would put down underneath it. Well, if we need it or not, but we'll do it. Well, there's our hole. It's a thick tank. Now, how do we get that inside there? <laughs> we'll get right on out of school for an hour. Yeah. We're going to thread it through from the inside. Not as hard as we thought. Yeah, that's where we want it. Use the pole to hold it in there and then we were able to reach in the hole and grab it and then get it oriented correctly so okay so now we just got to tighten it down and, and that should be good there's an o-ring seal on the inside so so i am hoping to make a seed delivery this afternoon although i have nothing lined up at this point we're gonna have to make some phone calls i just left a message with one of my guys see if he would be willing to take stuff several other i can call if i don't hear anything but we're going to treat some beans here this morning see what we can get done uh try and get um, six or seven hundred units done this morning if we can so i was just kind of going through the list and seeing what we need i have three boxes that are getting just a fungicide and inoculant uh treatment so we think we're going to dig those ones out because i've got some um or not the fungicide inoculant the base treatment and inoculant the apex um, so I have that in the mix tank right now a little bit that I would like to get used up because after that we're going to add Saltro and then I have to measure equal amounts. We got to get that tank empty. So uh, there's three boxes somewhere in this row that we're going to dig out and treat those and then we're going to dig some more out of here, some out of over there and get them treated and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. So we're going to need some inoculant mixed up. We got to move these out of the way a little bit at least so we can get in here and try and try and do this as quickly as we can okay i'm just about ready to treat i've got a box of beans up there we're ready to go we got to get some inoculant added though we had a truck show up it had it had the 44 bags of corn that i've been waiting for on it that was the stuff that i had all lined up to deliver uh last week one day and then i was like oh crap i don't have it all so yeah that's good so we can get that one done now uh we got to get our inoculant dumped in over there we're gonna do a full 500 units here today so we need the whole bag so this uh inoculant i use uh this exceed 500 xr it's it's reasonable that's why i use it it's it's reasonably priced i feel like it's a good product it comes in these big bladders of little ones you can get it in little ones that do one box a piece those are no fun because then you gotta open lots of them uh also has this bladder in it this is like food for the inoculant to keep it alive on the seed so this stuff is good for 120 days once we put it on the seed so we gotta get it all mixed up sometimes it settles out in the bottom of these you can see a little uh cluster of the bacteria or something i don't know it's by weight or volume, it's a very, very small percentage of the inoculant, but the number of the bacteria that are in here is its just crazy. Yeah, somewhere it says. Anyway, let's get it in there. All right, good 
deal. Um, we're going to do a bunch of beans with a higher treatment on it. Where's my list? It's over here. So most of the beans today, other than these three boxes, are going to get Saltro, uh, Cruiser Apex, and Inoculant. S and I, Saltro and Inoculant. We've got two, seven, nine, 13 boxes to do with that. So um, I was doing the math and figuring out how much Saltro and uh, Cruiser Apex we need to put in the tank for that. We need like 2.9 gallons of Saltro, which means we're going to use up a whole two and a half gallon jug today. So that's, uh, that's an expensive batch of beans to treat, but that's okay. That's what we've got it for. And uh, I'd rather get it used up. So, yeah. Okay, we got our three boxes done. So now we need to mix up our Saltro. What is going on? There you go. So now we need to mix up our Saltro. Um, I drained the tank. Close that valve now. So that's all we had left in there. About 32 ounces of uh, straight Cruiser Max. We need... Uh, a little over seven gallons, what does my note say? So we'll have to measure that out with the pitcher. Um, where's my notes? Right there. Seven gallons, 118 ounces, almost eight gallons. So we'll do that. We'll use that uh, measuring container there to measure it out, pump it out of the um, keg over there. The Saltro, we need like 2.9, so that we can dump a whole two and a half in and then just measure out the extra uh, four-tenths of a gallon that we'll need to fig fill that up. So uh, put them in that tank, and let's get them start mixing while we get box tops off and stuff. These are getting inoculant as well. We've already got that in here, so um, we don't need to do anything with that. <sighs> okay, um, we are filling jug full gallon jug number five of seven. Our keg is empty. So we've got to switch kegs and let it mix for a little bit. We'll get our Saltro put in while we're doing that. Okay, so this is the 40 ounces that we need, the uh, four tenths of a gallon. So we're gonna dump that in first. And let that drain for a minute. Let's talk about Saltro. So Saltro is a, uh, a fungicide. F flu fluidy flumotin, something like that. Um, it is for soybean uh, sudden death syndrome, SDS, which we have some of on our stuff, but I haven't seen it a lot. You go east of here and there's a bunch of it. You go west of here and there's a bunch of it. So uh, this stuff is extremely expensive, but it works really, really well if you need it. Um, this, so, so that's the active ingredient, this flumidity, whatever it is. Uh, Adepidin is kind of a trade name for that fungicide saltro is the seed treatment version of it uh adepidin is a is a um active ingredient in some of the fungicides that we spray foliarly as well but anyway this jug right here this two and a half gallon jug retail price after i put it on these beans is just shy of six thousand dollars just for this one jug it is not cheap And we just went and dumped the whole thing in. Plus some. So, and that's just for this component. That component is 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 a lot additional. Let's see. Let me do some math here. So the chemicals that we are putting in this jug, this keg right here, the Saltro and the Cruiser Apex, uh, retail price on the beans is right around thirteen thousand dollars worth of chemicals. And that doesn't include that tank. Now those are cheap, relative cheap, but uh, yeah, this is these are expensive, but they're worth it because they work. Okay, I think we're ready to go. We got our tank all mixed up. We've already used this chemical combination, so our calibrations are done. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we just need to get everything programmed. What are we treating here? 2674s, the ending lot number is uh, 458. So we're gonna hit auto there. We're gonna come to main, start setup. Uh, chemical is Saltro. Oh, uh, okay, nope, we gotta. Our chemicals are fine. We need to create a new recipe. We haven't done this exact combination before. So we're going to 
go to a blank one. We're going to name this Saltro. And exceed. Okay. Aux control is on. Pump one is Apex and Saltro. Our rate. Oh, we got to look that up. So I have this fancy little chart over here. Apex uh, fluid ounces per seed count unit per 140K is, is 1.95. Saltro is 0 0.714. So we need to add those two numbers together, and that's the rate out of that tank. All right, so now we've got that put in here. Uh, our Apex Saltro rate is 2.664. The Exceed by itself without the heads up in it, um, we're going to use a rate of one ounce per 100 weight. We actually... Um, that's a little higher than the recommended rate. I think the recommended is 0.94, but I have a lot of it. And um, it, they, there's kind of two rates suggested on these boxes. Um, I don't know if we can see one here. There's the, here, right here. Apply at a rate of two fluid ounces per hundred weight or 0.94 fluid ounces per 140,000 seeds. Um, so the problem with that two ounces per hundred weight is that at 2,800 seeds per pound, that's 50 pounds. And so that would be like one ounce to the unit. So they're, they use a little lower rate if you're going by seed count unit, just so that, because if you're not, if you're going by hundred weights, then you, you might under apply if you don't, um, put a little extra on. Anyway, we're just, we're going with the one ounce. It'll be fine. It will work out. Everything is good here. We can turn our water rate down a little bit because we're putting on more fluid with the Saltro here, so we don't need as much uh, extra water. But the beans are coated nice. Everything looks really good. We need to just run a bunch of boxes. Uh, we should be able to do about 10 boxes or so, eh, 10, 12, something like that, before our inoculant tank runs empty. It'll be just before that one. Um, We'll have to decide whether we want to open another thing up or figure out what we're going to do at that point. But so far, so good. Working our way through these beans, we're down to the last uh, run of five boxes here, I think. We're about out of inoculum. We should get this box and maybe one more out of that. There's still a lot of chemical in here, but that tank goes fast because you're pulling a lot of volume out of it. So... Should work out pretty darn close. We've got a bunch done. Down to our last box here. We did run out of inoculant. Whoops. But I uh, measured out enough for the last three boxes. or three boxes short, which made sense. Um, so that should do this last one. I, I, I didn't want to dump the whole another bladder in there or box. Because once you combine that extender and the inoculant, you've got to use it up within... Preferably four hours, but within a shorter amount of time. And so I only mixed up enough for um, the boxes that I need, which means I just had to measure it out. So that's good. Uh, our Saltro tank looks like we were just about where we want it. We're going to just keep an eye on them, make sure neither of them run out. And uh, we should be in good shape. Okay, well, we're done treating for today. We've got a label and uh, to get our samples and put our lids on all of these boxes. It is lunchtime. I'm going to walk up to the house and grab a sandwich while we let them just dry out a little bit more. The first ones are fine. The last ones could use a half an hour or so. Let that moisture either absorb into the beans or evaporate off and get into the, uh, you know, the air before we seal them off with lids. So, uh, well, we're going to do that. And then I just called. We got a delivery lined up for this afternoon. So uh, second load to a guy that's quite a ways away uh, but it will finish him off a uh, bunch of paper bags gonna leave in three boxes that I already had treated so a uh, good one to get cleaned up and done all right we're back from lunch our boxes are dry I pulled my samples we've got to put our tags on so I'm gonna go through and do that all of them are the same they've got Golden Harvest Preferred, Saltro, and Exceed, except for those first three that are full down there. They do not have the Saltro on them. Okay, we got them all stacked up. A few of them went over there that are for that customer. Uh, there was five boxes, the first ones we did. The rest are over here. 
Uh, there is, let's see, there's one customer that gets five of them. So those are all right there. Uh, there's another customer that's got two, and then those four go to somebody. So I'm hoping, I don't know, maybe I should make a phone call so we can take that stuff to him on Saturday. Those actually go to guy, he's a little ways away, but one of my customers, but he is the guy that had the tornado damage last year, uh, that video that I made. So be uh, interesting to go back and see how their rebuilding process is coming. So uh, we're going to sort out the stuff that I need for this afternoon's delivery. I need those three boxes back there, which those will be easy to get to. Uh, but he needs a bunch of corn and I think a few paper bags. So I need to, I need to find this stuff. Okay, I have got the corn sorted out that we need for today, or all the bags. This is going to make a dent. Everything from there to there goes on this truck, and it, it pulled my piles way back. So uh, it is 2 o'clock now. We've got, eh, we don't have a ton of time. Uh, Dad wants to get that tank set down at the farm there, so we're going to go down and help him do that real quick, and then we'll come down and get the trailer loaded up and head out. Are you ready or you gotta hook it up? You gotta get the stuff up there. I right? put two chains across and I got the side. Try to get it adjusted. It's fairly even, but right. Alright, we gotta get that tank on that pad. So I think I'm gonna climb up there and try and hook up a chain. I got a couple of GoPros set up so you guys can watch me fall and uh, we'll get this done. Well, it's up. The question is, can we get it high enough to get it over the wall? It's close. Are you gonna be too far away? I don't know. You're over it. Stop. 
We're still hooked up, but we got it in place. I think that's about where we want it. Could rotate it a little bit, maybe. But we're just off the wall on both sides. Yeah, maybe a little close there. That will work. Now the plan is to put one of our cone bottom tanks back in here. Assuming it fits, we might have to push this platform in a little bit, which we have plenty of room to do, so no big deal there. And then we'll use that one for water all the time. This one's gonna get 1034-0 in it for starter spring, and then we can use it for water after we get it empty. Gotta get our hose changed out here. Um, just put a three inch connection into this T, and then that'll be good to go. Put a sight gauge on those other two ports. Good deal. I'm not quick enough on the draw, but right back on the other side of that woods, there's a guy planting soybeans right now, April 10th. It looks drier up here where we're at. Um, there's a lot of uh, ground been worked and you can see there's been some activity this week. They must not have caught the rain or it's a little sandier here or something, but yeah. Makes me want to go home and plant something, but we are too wet. Oh. That was a long trip. That guy, he's, it's 80 some miles, 166 round trip today, which it's all right, it's fine, but it uh, takes a while to do it. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we got that one out of the way. According to my weather forecast, it is going to rain tomorrow. In fact, there's rain moving up from the south right now. So we'll see what things look like tomorrow, but if it is raining outside all day, uh, we'll probably treat some beans see what's going on around the farm. Maybe we'll get our tractor hooked back up to our planter, although I don't want to take it outside if it's raining. Um, yeah. We got beans to treat, though. If it's not raining, maybe we'll try and get some stuff delivered. Some more local stuff here. My stuff. Um, yeah, same thing on Friday. We'll just have to see what the weather's like. Uh, I am planning on making some deliveries on Saturday because it's supposed to be really nice. It's temperature-wise... 
It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Like, as soon as it is dry enough to be in the fields and start working, it's go time. Uh, especially given the temperature forecast. So, <sighs> it's too wet today. I would start looking at stuff by Friday or Saturday if it doesn't rain, but there's rain on the way. We'll see what we get. If we can get through this uh, tomorrow with, you know, a half inch of rain or less, maybe the first of the week we could look at something. I don't know, but we are getting very close to being uh, go time on planting. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great night. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we will see you probably tomorrow. We might combine tomorrow and Friday, but we'll see you.